inspiration tube. Today we're doing a 10 minute follow along workout. Today's theme is going to be ankle mobility. All right, so as you may know, one of the most common injuries in sport is ankle sprains. All right, for maybe you're running down the, the pitch or the, the field or, what, or the court, whatever you play, someone hits you, you get off balance, you roll over your ankle, boom, your ankle's like a balloon. Okay, and even if you don't play a sport, you're walking down the street, you step in a pothole, oh, you go over your ankle, boom, ankle's like a balloon. All right, so this workout's gonna be helping you strengthen those ligaments in your ankle, and hopefully we can help prevent those injuries happening in the future, okay? I'm actually someone that's had this injury happen to me several times. I've got a few stories to tell you about a couple of them, some kind of funny, some kind of like sad, all right? But if you walk, um, follow this along with this workout with me, you'll hear those stories. So today's workout, like I said, is 10 minutes. All you need is some uh, resistant bands for your equipment. I have three different types of bands here. I've got a skinny kind of band that doesn't have any handles and it's connected. I've got a, once again, a skinny kind of band but that has handles on it. Um, most people use like this for bicep curls or any sort of uh, pressing movement. And I also have a skinny band but also it's kind of a smaller one. So most people put it around their thighs for like your, your doctor walk, the uh, lateral walk, uh, things like that, okay? So you can use any of these three types of bands. Most, most uh, sports stores have these. So whatever you have at home, feel free to use that one. I'm just gonna use this one here today. All right, the, the small skinny green one. Uh, I'm gonna use this one also just to show you how you can uh, use this one at home if this is the only one you have. I'm not gonna use this one today, but if this is the only one you have, that's okay, you can use it for the same exercise. So today we're gonna to be doing each exercise twice. All right, so there's two rounds per exercise, right side, left side, and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So, with your resistant bands, if you have something to tie it onto, that is perfect. So I'll get I have this fence right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie it around this fence. So if you can do that now, that'll be perfect. You can use, if you're inside your house, you can maybe do it on your bed post or um, any sort of door that has, you know, I can get gap through it. I'm just gonna do it on this fence here. If you're doing it outside, maybe you've got a fence similar. Okay, so hopefully you've tied it on now. So I'm gonna hit the workout. So the first exercise is gonna be a dorsiflex movement. So you're gonna have your foot in the resistant bands and you're gonna extend the foot out and you're gonna flex the foot into your body and then you can control it on the way out. But I'm gonna explain each exercise as we go out through the whole workout. So follow along. So each exercise we're going for 25 seconds. There'll be a timer on your screen so you know how, how long left you have in your exercise. So let's get that resistant band around your, um, just below your toes. So you're gonna go out, control it, and then dorsiflex it back to your body, and then control it back away from your body. Okay, so squeeze, and then slowly resist. Squeeze, slowly resist. Perfect, keep going guys. Squeeze, slowly resist. Perfect. All right, so after you finish the right side, we're gonna switch our feet, a little 10 second rest, before we go onto the opposite side. Two. One, and let's do it. So we're squeezing towards our body and then slowly resisting on the way out. Make sure your core is tight on this movement. All right, so your whole body is engaged. Squeeze towards your body and then slowly release, release on the way back. Good job. Perfect. All right, so that's one round done with the dorsiflexion. We're gonna switch feet now. Perfect. All right, let's get that resistance in. Two, one, and let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna tell you about my first story about tearing ligaments in my ankle. All right, so it was my senior year in high school. All right, I just graduated. Uh, I got a soccer scholarship to a school in North Carolina. And, um, I was just playing with my friends a week before I went away to my soccer uh, scholarship at school in North Carolina. Good, and switch. So, I was playing with my friends in the tennis court. And, you know, I was just playing soccer with my friends. And, you know, probably around about 10 minutes before we left, it was kind of a rainy night. Um, and I decided to do a little step over. So I stood on this soccer ball on the tennis court. My foot got caught on the soccer ball and it kind of went over my ankle. And, let's thing you know, I've got a swollen ankle like a balloon and I have a grade three, level three, uh, sprain in my ankle, so I had to be in a cast, and I went to my first year at university, 
and a cast. Yeah, perfect, I know. All right, so um, the next exercise we're gonna do, guys, is gonna be our inversion resistance. So what we're gonna do is gonna have the, uh, still with the band on the, the fence, the resistance is gonna be coming from the outside so that you're squeezing that ankle in towards your body. Okay, so that was my first ankle sprain. Okay, it wasn't fun. Okay, it was really hard for me to uh, do, do well in preseason because I was coming back from an ankle injury and I had to get you know ultrasound and, and do rehab and I just felt kind of out of place because I was at a new school and I tried to impress the coach. Coming in injured wasn't the best. All right, perfect guys. So we're gonna switch sides now. Sorry, my back's gonna be towards you guys, but hopefully you can still see. All right, so we're going to the left foot now. So once again, little inversion. So we're squeezing that ankle. Try to show you this so you guys can still see towards your body and we're gonna be resisting it all the way out. Okay. Perfect guys, good job. Keep working. Three, two, one, and switch. We're gonna switch sides now. We're gonna rotate our body. Don't miss there with the uh, inversion. We're gonna the last set. Two, one. Let's do it. So squeeze that ankle towards your body. And those who maybe are coming back from an ankle injury, I understand your pain. I know it, it, it sucks. Listen, uh, if you are in sport and this is holding you back from your sport, it could be kind of a little bit, you know, upsetting. And it can get you down at times. But listen, you know, you're going to get come back stronger. And, um, you know, just keep working on your rehab. And you'll be back stronger, fitter, faster after your injury. So let's switch sides, guys. Okay, let's get that left foot in it. Push around. Let's do it. Good. Remember, go slow and controlled with this movement, guys. You don't want to be going too quick on this exercise. Moving on to a, a version uh, movement, which means that you're just kind of pushing that ankle away from your body. So if you want to release your resistant bands, so this one here you can use like so. You're going to push it on the outside of your foot and your opposite foot is just going to go on the outside so that you can get that ankle away from your body. Okay. There we go. Just squeeze it across. Nice and controlled. Get that ankle away from your body. Remember to control this movement. Ooh, I'm sweating out here. It's very humid in Houston today. Oh, time. Perfect. So that's one way you can do it with the, uh, the skinny band that I have. Here's another way that you can do it. So you can put both feet inside your band. And we're just going to move our left ankle out to the left side. Perfect. Okay, so like I said, whatever band you have at home, feel free to customize your workout to the equipment that you have. All right, so let me get, get on with my story. So eventually I did come back from my injury and uh, my ankle felt stronger. And I was able to play the rest of the season with my teammates without a little pain. So that's my um, rehab. Seriously. After my freshman year at university, I decided. Oh, how did I do that? Here we go. Um, I decided to try playing in Europe. So I moved to Germany, and uh, my ankle's feeling good, feeling strong. And I went home at Christmas, uh, the winter break. So in Germany, they do a um, kind of a, a winter break for the soccer season. So I went back to Houston to visit my family, and everything was going good. But then I went home to Scotland, where I'm originally from, and I tried to train with the football team there when I was there. And uh, before the warm-up even started, so normally they do like a possession game. And uh, all right, guys, make sure your ankle's coming out to the side and control the way back. So they're doing like a possession game, so it's like kind of like a 4v2. And literally my first touch in the game, I got the ball from the right side. I went to flick it around my back towards um, the teammate that was open. 
and then I was on this, my single leg, and this guy hit me. Boom, went over my ankle. Boom, ankle was up like a balloon. Sprained my ankle, and I went back to Germany with a sprained ankle. So let's just say that those two years of my life was not fun. All right, so guys, listen guys. Last exercise of this movement is gonna be a plantar, uh, plantar flexion movement. So same again, you're gonna be on the ground. This time, the resistant band is going to be behind your foot. So this one, your plantar flexion, all that means is your toes at your body, you're gonna be squeezing, kind of use, utilizing that calf muscle. All right, so squeeze that resistant band away from your body so that we're strengthening that plantar flexion. Perfect. All right, so we're almost done with this workout, guys. You did a great job so far. Hopefully my stories aren't boring you guys. Okay, so we got the resistant band on the left foot. This is another exercise you can do with your opposite band. So this is a good one. I like this band the best for the ankle mobility. Okay, you can really kind of control it a little bit more and get a little bit more tension. So make sure it's just on the balls of your feet. Squeeze that foot away from your body and then control the resistance on the way back. Good. Go back to your right foot. Last set each side. Get ready for the last movement. And let's do it. Squeeze that foot away from your body and let it come back to your foot, out to your body. Good, 15 seconds. Good, keep breathing throughout. Awesome guys, we got one more exercise on the opposite side. And then we are finito, we're done. All right, make sure it's in the balls of your foot. So let me show you real quick. If you can have your other resistant band, get it on real quick. All right, so same concept, you're just pulling it towards your body and then pushing it against your body. All right, so same concept, just different band. Remember this exercise has to be slow and controlled. We're not rushing things, so we're working against that resistance rather than it swinging us back. All right, perfect. So once again, guys, thank you for joining me in today's workout. Hopefully, if you are injured, keep upbeat about it, uh, fight back strong, and hopefully you'll get back stronger, fitter, stronger, faster, and you won't get injured again, all right? But please uh, give this video a like, that'll really help me out. And if you really enjoyed my video, I've got plenty more, and I've got a ton more ideas um, to make more videos in the future. So please hit that subscribe button, that'll really help me out. But other than that, guys, have a good workout, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.